stress to graph this line using the slope and y-intercept, um, we can determine the slope and y-intercept if we solve this equation for y. So that's what I'll do first. I'll subtract 4x from both sides. So we'll have negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 6. Then I'll divide both sides by negative 2. The next step, I will divide each term on the top by negative 2. And so I end up with y equals 2x minus 3. Now from this form of the equation, the slope-intercept form, I, can, I know that the slope is 2, and I know the y-intercept is 0, negative 3. I can plot the line now because I know a point, 0, negative 3, is the y-intercept. The slope is 2, which you can think of as 2 over 1, so a rise of 2 for every run of 1. So I'll go up to write 1, and then I can continue doing that throughout the length of the graph that I have. I'll go up one more. Now I can also go down to left 1, which will fit on this graph. I won't go down again because there's no room below that. So I'll connect the points now. Put arrows on the end, and this is the graph of 4x minus 2y equals 6.